It started with a scalpel, a single cut that split the human brain in half. Surgeons weren't trying to unlock secrets of the mind. They were trying to stop seizures, the kind that burned like wildfires across both hemispheres. The solution? Cut the connection. Sever the corpus callosum, the bridge between the two halves of the brain. The seizures stopped, but something else began. In the 1960s, psychologist Michael Gazaniga and neurosurgeon Roger Sperry asked a question no one had dared before. If the brain is split, what happens to the mind? They ran a simple test. Show one image to the left eye, another to the right. In split brain patients, the two sides of the brain couldn't share the information. They asked the patient to point to what they saw. The left hand pointed to a shovel to dig out the snow. But when asked why, the patient said, to clean out the chicken coop. Neither half of the brain knew what the other had seen. So the left brain, the talking side, just made up a story. This was the birth of a terrifying idea. That consciousness isn't a single entity. It might be a negotiation. Two minds, one head, each with its own knowledge, each with its own will.